Have you seen what is happening in northern Gaza? For around two weeks, the Israeli army has laid siege on the area, focusing on the Jabalia refugee camp. Israeli forces positioned along these lines to the south and west appear to be cutting off a big area from the rest of the Strip. Israel's stated aim is to stop Hamas from regrouping there. But its strategy to do that has been causing alarm. Israeli forces started bombing with an even more intensity. To put in perspective, in just two days recently, Israel launched 118 attacks in northern Gaza, almost as many as the total for all of September, according to the UN. The Israeli military also told residents there they had to leave. Remember that people in the north were the first to be forcibly displaced at the very beginning of the war, when Israel forced residents to move southward. Since then, entire neighborhoods have been reduced to rubble. Still, more than 400,000 people remained, according to the UN. And many civilians who spoke to Al Jazeera say they refused to move. Why? Many people fear they will be killed by Israeli snipers as they try to leave. That has already been happening. Areas indicated as safe zones for the displaced have repeatedly been bombed. And many people are afraid they won't be able to return if they leave. Israel has prevented those who fled earlier in the war from going back. The Israeli army also blocked food and aid from entering northern Gaza. The UN agency UNRWA said it had not been allowed to provide any assistance for at least two weeks. The bombing, the forced evacuations and the blocking of food have fueled fears that Israel was pushing forward with a proposal presented by former Israeli generals. According to the plan, the northern third of the Gaza Strip would be emptied of civilians. It would then be declared a closed military zone and cut off from any food or aid. Civilians who remained would have been considered military targets. While Israeli officials have denied such plan, Israeli media said it was being considered with some reports suggesting that it had, quote, quietly started already. The situation is so dire that even the United States issued a rare public ultimatum. Israel was told it must improve the humanitarian situation in Gaza within 30 days, or military aid from Washington could be at risk. Amid the international outcry, Israel said it had allowed aid trucks to enter Gaza, including 50 to the north. But the numbers are still far below the daily average of 500 trucks allowed into Gaza before the war began. The fear now for people in the north is how bad things will get before Israel's assault is over.